Hi, my name's Kerry Kerwin, and this is the world's first fully sustainable Formula 3 racing car. What we've got here is the most sustainable racing car in the world at the moment. She's made of lots of waste materials and recycled materials that otherwise end up in landfill, and we've turned to good use. And more importantly, we've shown that being sustainable and green can be incredibly sexy, fun and fast. The public at the moment perceive motorsport to be quite a wasteful industry. They see Formula One, they see cars in Monaco, they see pit lanes full of expensive cars that are churning out lots of emissions. And what we're trying to do is show ways for the future for people to race but be green. The barge board which is a three-dimensional woven hemp product. We've also got a flax bib there that's the same stuff as you make tablecloths or napkins out of. The air intake and the radiator actually has a catalytic converter on board that converts low-level ozone to oxygen as you're driving along. The steering wheel is made of carrot pulp that comes from the soup or juicing industry. We've also got side pods, engine cover made from recycled carbon fibre from the aerospace industry that would otherwise end up in landfill. And we're using a resin from PET bottles, so that's lemonade and coke bottles that would otherwise be incinerated or thrown away. And under here is an engine that runs on biofuel, which is brewed from waste materials such as chocolate, animal fats or vegetable oils and it, the whole car is lubricated with plant oils. My involvement with the project has been to build and remap the engine so that it will run on biodiesel. In fact, with this engine we started from scratch. We changed the engine management unit and made it so that it would actually work very well on the biodiesel fuel that we're using. It's challenging to make a performance car run on biofuel because you actually do get less power and energy out of the fuel. But there are some uh, aspects of the fuel that do actually help us along the way that's why it's important to tune the car for the fuel we're using. The engine has more torque, which means it has more push. You know, like when you put your foot down, it doesn't accelerate quicker, but it's got more, more initial push. And that results in, you know, the, a very limited amount of power in a very short space of time. A lot of power, but in a very little time. So you have to kind of be a, a little bit more wary of that and also remember that it is turbocharged so you know you have to wait for the power to build up before you get your, your full wax. We've had a great response from the public. The response from the industry has been slightly different, initially very, very sceptical. But now I think people are beginning to realise that actually it might have some sort of future and, and that people are beginning to actively get involved in it I think. It did some hill climbs at Goodwood, Festival of Speed this year. It's been to the British Grand Prix, it's going to the European Grand Prix, and uh, we've also had some very famous drivers give her the thumbs up, including Adam Carroll, A1 GP champion, and Jensen Button, who could be the next Formula One world champion. We had Lewis Hamilton, who uh, put his autograph on the car, and I think, you know, he was, he was pleasantly surprised that parts of it were made from carrots and soybeans, I think. And, yeah, so it's, it's been fun, and I think everyone, it, it gets a good response from where, where it goes. There's a wide recognition in the motorsport industry that it needs to become greener to be more relevant to society, and therefore to get the viewing figures and, and sponsorship that allows them to go racing. And this is a means of showing people how it can be done. We are very environmentally friendly, we're not damaging the environment, but we are still very competitive in, in motorsport terms. The point of this is to demonstrate that green or sustainable materials can actually have a place in high performance vehicles. Motor racing can be completely green. We can have a, a motor car which is made up of entirely sustainable materials. Mm -hmm.